Hey guys, it's JDC here. Today I'm here to review the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. So Five Nights at Freddy's is of course based on the popular game series of the same name created by Scott Coffin and is the long awaited film adaptation of those games that has been in development for like something around eight years or so. So the film follows Mike Schmidt as he has to take care of his sister and also doesn't want to leave his sister in the hands of his aunt who's pretty abusive, but he finds a new gig given to him by C. Ragland. The night shift security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, which was once a popular place for all the kids to hang out back in the 80s. It was like Chuck E. Cheese. During the night shift, of course, the animatronics come to life and try to kill him, just like in the game. He also wants to know what happened to his brother after he was taken when he was a kid. And he finds a lot of stuff out during his time at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So if you know me or remember my second channel, I did do playthroughs of some of the Five Nights at Freddy's games, but I stopped kind of following the lore after Five Nights at Freddy's 3 back in 2015. So that was a long time ago. So I had a lot of catching up to do, but I still played some of the other games. I just didn't really get into the lore as much. And I, holy shit, I missed a lot. Um, the movie, I'll be honest, is probably not accurate. From what I know, it's definitely not really that accurate to the lore. But um, Although from what I've heard, it follows the story of Five Nights at Freddy's novel, The Silver Eyes, but I've never read that, so I can't really confirm that. It didn't really bother me all that much. Um, itself is rated PG-13, which disappointed a lot of people. Not really me, I didn't really care all that much, except the fucking fans. It's, I, I mean, my God, I'm sorry, but... The theater experience, however, was, eh, I mean, people, kids were fucking screaming the entire time. It was pretty fucking annoying. I mean, the film itself is fine. I mean, I love, I think Josh, I think Josh Hutcherson is pretty solid, but other than that, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty solid film. The acting is pretty good. I love Matthew Lillard. Yes, this part is being added in after I recorded that original review because there is something that I thought of that I want to get off my chest too. We gotta to talk about the spring lock scene because I've seen a lot of people complain about how it's not bloody enough or gory enough. But here's the thing, it's way more realistic because let's say, and excuse me if I get a little morbid here, let's say I stab you, right? And the blade is, in, is inside your body, right? You're not gonna start really bleeding until I pull out the blade. The fact that the spring locks are puncturing William Afton the thing is, he's not going to start bleeding that profusely. Like, if that's going to happen to you, you're not going to start bleeding that profusely where blood's going to start pouring out, like, in um, the 8-bit version or the other versions you've seen online. Because the thing is, is that you're also not really going to be able to scream because your lungs are going to be punctured, too. The spring locks are puncturing his body, which means the blood is staying in there. So unless those spring locks come out of his ribs or come out of his body... He's not gonna bleed that profusely or bleed all that much. The blood's gonna stay inside unless the spring locks come out of his body. But until then, they're stuck in there. So that blood is gonna stay in there because unless you take out the spring locks, the, he's not gonna start bleeding all that much. That's why I like the way they did the scenes because it not only is it way more realistic, but Matthew Lillard also sells it. It looks painful as fuck. That looks really painful to go through. Like, I, like that, that looks horrible. Even if it's not like the bloody like screaming version that you've seen online beforehand if you have seen it um it still looks really painful although he still shouldn't have been able to say i always come back but i knew why they did it, it was for the fans and shit like if you know it you know it then that small thing which i mean i mean I, I really didn't care if they had it or not but i mean if they did it that's cool but like i said he's he sells it too it, that shit looks like it fucking hurts like it really looks super painful Anyway, that's pretty much why I have to get off the chest of why I enjoy the spring lock scene. I think they did a pretty fucking good job with the spring lock scene. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. And honestly, I'm totally okay with that spring lock scene. I, I like it a lot. Matthew Lillard sells that shit. Also, another thing I want to get out of the way is um, whether the movie was shit or amazing, I would have won either way. So, anyway, back to the original review. <laughs> I'm gonna get my rating out of the way, seven out of 10, honestly. I, I, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. Yeah, there are corny moments, and yes, I enjoyed all the memes on TikTok that I saw, all the fucking corny dialogue, like friends never abandon friends. That made me laugh a lot, but that's obviously not in the film. Um, I'll get into spoilers right now. The spring lock scene, which I believe, yeah, the spring lock scene could have been more violent, of course, because it's, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's what the fuck is happening to him. It's pretty brutal, but it was, Handled pretty well. I think Matthew Lillard's great in the role. He's great in almost everything I've seen of him, like Scream, a Schumacher, which is a nice little reference in there with the knives, um, wiping, which is how you could tell that Stu, like what Ghostface was Stu during the first Scream movie. So that's a nice little nod. Um, 
it's pretty like animatronics are really nice there's like no cgi in this film at all they're all like real animatronics i'm like i'm, I'm actually really impressed i'm not gonna lie and i'm really impressed by that. it was pretty cool to see honestly i was like damn nice but i thought it was pretty cool the movie itself is fine the movie itself is a fine movie um how will hardcore fans respond to it i don't know um i've heard things about it like some fans are not happy at all some fans are fine with it I'm not going to say whether I'm really a fan or not, because I'm really not a fan fan per se. I can really, I stopped following after three, I, 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 I was very lost when it came to other stuff. So I had to do like, like I had to watch recap videos because I was pretty lost when it came to it, but I eventually figured it out. But from my perspective, it's fine. It's a fine movie. As a movie, it's fine. As an adaptation, I don't really know, but that's not really for me to study for them again. As a movie, it's fine, experience. I'm not gonna lie. I had fun with it, so. And they're gonna make more of them, obviously. Because it opened up with 130 million, so. I mean, you know. That's all for today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. All right, bye guys.